good morning students we had started with uh, representation of geographical features the first chapter we st uh, studied importance of maps in the importance of maps we had seen different classification of maps three types of maps what the physical maps what is the physical map physical map shows the natural features of features of the earth like mountain plains plateaus water and then political maps what is a political map political division of the earth like a country states cities are marked along with their depicted boundaries then third one is a thematic map what is a thematic map as the name suggests the map have a specific theme or subject they may be road maps rainfall maps vegetation maps etc then we had uh, discussed about types of maps large scale and small uh, large and small scale maps what is a large scale and a small scale map what is a small scale map when a large area is shown on a paper very few details may be marked this is a small scale map then what is a large scale map a city locality with the detailed information like roads schools hospital etc such maps are called large scale maps then it, what is a plan then we had seen plan other than a map and a sketch there is a another large scale representation of an extremely small area like a house or a school such drawings are represented according to the according to a scale show very minor details also these are called plans then about a scale uh, scale of the map sketch we had seen what is the scale of the map the tool that helps to reduce the size of the earth or its part also calculate the exact distance between two points on the ground as represented on the map that is called a scale of the scale of uh, scale of the map what is a sketch any drawing however accurate it may be if drawn without a scale is called a sketch understood for example when you draw to guide your friend to reach your house that drawing is a sketch what is a sketch any drawing however accurate it may be however accurate it may be if drawn without a scale is called a sketch then what is a scale scale is defined as the ratio of the distance on the map and the corresponding distance on the ground that is a scale we had also seen the different scales the statement scale the representative fraction scale the linear scale what is the statement scale the statement scale is the easiest to read it needs you no know, calculation to read and understand what it indicates it uses simple words to represent the ratio of the distance on the map to that of corresponding distance on the ground see the to represent the ratio of the distance on the map to that of corresponding distance on the ground that is a statement scale what is a representative fraction representative fraction scale overcomes the disadvantage of the statement scale the representative fraction is given as a ratio of the distance on the map taken as a unity to the corresponding distance on the ground where both the values have the same unit and therefore say in the same unit and therefore no unit that is a representative fraction then we had converted that statement is there for example example is given there you go through that then what is the linear scale linear the linear scale is represented through the graphical drawing of the scale with the divisions and some divisions and is therefore also known as a graphical as the graphical scale so there are primary division in linear scale there is a primary division and a secondary division what is a primary division the big division on the scale are called primary division and the first primary division of the scale is further divided into a small division or secondary division okay so the zero or the beginning of the scale are 
or scale is marked after the first primary division. The first primary division of the scale is further divided into the small divisions or the secondary divisions. Okay. I hope uh, till here we had discussed. Now, um, uh, just to about the directions, you just to go through the directions already given here, um, like uh, south, north, west, east, southwest, northwest, northeast, and uh, southeast. You just uh, um, go through that uh, and understand the things okay uh, i hope that you will understand and you read and understand about that then next very important point is conventional signs and symbols what is this conventional signs and symbols okay just to go through that one the size of the map is much smaller than the actual size of the land that it is represented due to this reduced size on the map on a map it is not possible to show the natural and man-made features on the map in their actual shape and size. Therefore, some symbols which are accepted all over the world are used to represent features like rivers, mountains, roads, cities, etc. on the map. These symbols are known as the conventional symbols. Did you understand? Read that one. What is conventional symbols? Ah, some of the features cannot be represented on so what happened therefore some symbols which are accepted all over the world are used to represent features like rivers roads mountains cities etc on the map these symbols are known as conventional symbols these symbols are useful as they facilitate the representation of meaningful information on the map that is a conventional symbols above the you see the picture page number 11 you could see the picture different signs of uh, di uh, dip different types of conventional signs are given in that uh, red paragraph you just go through that you see for roads metalled unmetalled metalled under construction all these given see signs how signs given boundaries then rivers then uh, streams then uh, railways then uh, about uh, religions about villages bridge forest everything is given okay you just go through that now um, diagrammatic representation of physical features uh, river mentor then uh, anticline and syncline uh, tri uh, tributaries trees uh, distributaries, uh, butteries and delta, black mountain, block mountain, all these things we will go through, okay. What is a river mender? A mender in general is a bend in a sinuous water course, water course or river. A mender forms when moving water in a stream erodes the outer bank and widen its valley and the inner part of the river has less energy and deposit silt in the picture you could understand that what is a mender what is a river mender what is anticline and syncline fold mountains are mountains formed mainly by the effects of folding on layers in the upper part of the earth's crust the part of the fold rising upwards is called anticline and the part of the fold which sinks downwards is called a syncline it is very easy to understand see from the big picture you could understand which is an anticline and which is which is a syncline okay see when it is the upper part when the layers in the upper part of the earth crust the part of the floor fold rising upward is called see the upward fold is called anticline and downward 
fold is known as a sing line it's tributaries then a tributary or afflu uh, affluent channel is a stream or river that flows into a larger stream or a main stem river or a lake it adds water to the main river for example from different part uh, what a small small streams comes and join in the big river for example so no or it together joins in the sea or lakes that is known as a what a type of next distributaries a distributary or a distributary distributary channel is a stream that branches off and flows away from the mainstream channel they are they are common features of river deltas distributary takes a distributor takes water away from the main river and its mouth at its mouth the phenomenon is known as a river bifurcation it is known as a river bifurcation okay what is a delta a wide inverted y shaped alluvial fan at the mouth of a river when it empties into the sea is called delta the river divides into a number of channels called distributaries that takes water to the sea then block mountains the the fault block mountains or a block mountains are created when the faults or cracks in the earth crust force material earth crust force materials or blocks or rocks upward or down the uplifted blocks are block mountains or host the intervening dropped blocks are called graben 